when you first when you first see this symbol, what impression does it give it to you? Danger, warning, something to run away from. If you're having such impressions, it means it's doing its job as a symbol. And just by looking at the symbol, maybe you should get those impressions. At this symbol is used all over the world for that very purpose. This is a biohazard sign designed by the Dow's chemical company in 1966 when the world recognized a need for a symbol that indicates risk, especially human risk, and especially in the context of the new atomic age. However, the problem with this symbol is that it cannot stand the test of time. Radioactive, uh, radioactive waste lasts for thousands, millions, and even billions of years. And there is no guarantee that this, uh, that this symbol will mean what it means in the future. Culture and perception changes over time. And who knows, maybe in the future, someone or something, as humans might be extinct by then, will stumble into our, one of our radioactive facilities and find the symbol and think, free Wi-Fi, free food, and dig up this radioactive waste, only to be exposed to the, one of the most toxic substances on this earth. If that happens, that would it be our legacy. What will be our legacy? What will we be remembered for? What do you want to leave behind? With those in mind, ladies and gentlemen, please let me welcome you to How to Leave a Legacy. Those who believe in carpe diem, or those who just don't really care, will say, who cares? I won't be alive in the future. Uh, but I, I beg to differ. We should think about legacies. We should think about what we leave behind. We should think about our actions and its consequences. We should think about our legacies. We should think about our legacies because as soon as, soon as we do so, our lives will be a little bit more planned, organized, and a little bit more respectful. Actually, not thinking about it will be an irresponsible way of life. I also think that it gives a purpose to an, uh, to an otherwise uh, meaningless life that we have. One of the greatest reasons that people, people might not think about legacies might be because they don't believe they are able to do so in the first place. But the thing is, whoever you are, you are capable to do so. Maybe more than ever. As a species, we are one of the most influential species on this planet. So influential, in fact, that the scientists are even considering uh, to name this time period that we are in as Anthropocene. Our disposable waste, uh, like such as plastic, will last thousands of years just like our nuclear waste. Biological alteration caused by humans, such as to make wheat or corn bigger for human consumption, has made, our entire, uh, made an entire species to change how they live completely and maybe forever. As a nation or just groups of people, we are proven to be impactful. Just take a one look at the legacies of the Roman Empire. Rome had fallen for thousands of years ago, but we still incorporate their language, political structure, while they, their building still stands till today. Whatever we do as a collective group of people will impact the future. Time is a chain reaction. It goes to chronological order where a cause becomes a result and those results become the cause. Therefore, whatever we do, it will leave a mark. Now, as an individual, it might be the least impactful, but I beg to differ. I think individuals are the most important component of leaving a legacy. We influence each other, and by influencing each other, we, I believe that we play a little part in each other's legacies, where, while this person might play some sort of role in our own. There is no cookie-cutter formula for leaving a legacy for an individual. All great people, or not so great people, who we remember have achieved different goals in different areas in a different way. Beating time itself is very hard, too. It is what we humans have been obsessed for since our existence, being immortal, being something that transcends time, being something that stands the test of time. But certainly, it's not impossible. Columbus uh, sailed to America even though he thought it was India and caused a chain reaction of a colonization that proved to be consequential. Alexander and Genghis Khan have made the greatest empires in their times and still leaves an everlasting impact and its pride among their own people. Einstein's theory of relativity is still constantly shaping our understanding of the world. But how will we do it? What, how will ordinary people like us will leave a legacy that rivals those of Michelangelo or Aristotle? What chance do we have against Gandhi or Churchill? The truth is, it's pretty much little. Coming with our own legacies is hard. It requires considerable amount of effort. Wait, um, actually, a lot of effort. And it, will, it requires an idea and an infinite amount of luck to do so. Also, I can't say anything meaningful about this area, actually. 
because I barely lived for 18 years. And if anybody has to listen to a speech about how to live a meaningful life, it has to be me. But I can say this just one thing, just one thing, and that is to live your life. Yeah, I know it sounds very cliche, and just bear with me, but hear me out. In the pages of history, there are many people who make us feel like a loser. Right now, like I said, my age is about like 18. And what an average person will do um, in the nor- uh, ordinary life will go along the lines of looking at social media, posting like selfies, like doing our homework to the last end, and then like making our teachers mad. Well, meanwhile, Alexander the Great will, had a whole kingdom and was conquering Asia. John of Arc saved France, and Mary Kelly, uh, uh, Mary Kelly wrote a book, Frankenstein. All of them were roughly similar age and yet accomplished so much in a short period of time. And whenever I hear and read or like just think about their legacies, I, it just gives me this one thought. What have I been doing? What have I been doing? And something similar uh, crossed my mind about a year ago in a student council, uh, when the student council was introduction, uh, introdu- uh, introdu- uh, basically it was supposed to introduce this Allen matter for the whole school in order for them to be familiar with the graduation or for the upcoming um, events. While preparing for that, I remember asking one of my peers, who even composed this Allen matter? And to my surprise, it was actually one of the seniors who graduated a few years ago. I didn't know about this, and I didn't even know who that is, but as soon as I heard that, I remember immediately having a strong respect for that senior. And thought to myself, what have I been doing? I mean, in the same high school, same environment, but I don't have any legacies. And even after the assembly with the Alameda was over, I remember thinking of how to leave a mark of my own. Just like the senior who composed the Alameda, leaving a legacy a true legacy seemed like a noble and a true goal that I can ser- seriously follow. After that, I considered new things, what I can do. I brainstormed, and quite a while, I was very obsessed with making my own legacy. It was later when I have noticed that legacy is not something that I can imitate. It was something unique to me, and it was something that I have to make for my own. So when I was uh, facing this question, how to leave a legacy, I would say, live your life. Of course, I don't mean just go crazy about it, but live your life, that's it. Because even if you want to be somebody, you can't because you're not that somebody. Even if you accomplish something that is already done, it won't be considered great anyway because it's already done. People are not any more surprised. So leaving a legacy basically is how unique it is and how consequential it is. It is not unique if you follow somebody else's footstep. It is not certainly consequential too. The only way to leave your own legacy is to be you, not standing in somebody else's shadow, but to be you. Only you can leave your own legacy. But one might ask, uh, why doesn't everybody have a lasting legacy? If, I mean, everything is so simple, one line, live your life. Well, I do have a feeling that it's easier said than done. So get out there, do something. Do something that you can do all day without getting bored. And, and think, what do you want to leave behind? Have a nice day. And before I leave, I would like to thank my great friend and a talented artist who basically supplied me all with all those images from her slides. And this was Kyun Lee on how to leave a legacy. Thank you.